in the problem number 31 for a given statement select the incorrect options before going to make the options i would like to provide a recap then we'll go the option first we all know if you will compare with the electric dipole then you easily find that in the case of uniform field net force will be zero in the case of dipole but torque will be equal to m cross b you know but in the non-uniform magnetic field we know net force may be zero may not be zero right and one important thing i would like to repeat it for a stable equilibrium in a uniform magnetic field so energy hai, you will write minus mb we all know but another important thing is magnetic dipole moment points towards magnetic field in the case of stable equilibrium magnetic dipole moment ka direction magnetic field ki tarah point karta hai so now i am going to read the option and i need incorrect statement first option is saying when a magnetic dipole is kept in a uniform magnetic field B, net force 0 and net torque will be this. Yes, this is true statement. When magnetic dipole is kept in non-uniform magnetic field, torque may not be 0. Yes, this is another true statement. Magnetic dipole in a stable equilibrium, when magnetic moment vector point toward the uniform magnetic field, yes, as I said, this is true. And now, now you have guessed that it will happen, but I would like to read, magnetic dipole is in unstable equilibrium when magnetic moment vector point toward the uniform magnetic field. Yes, this is false state. So as per the demand of the question, option number 4 will be the right choice. So let's move on, question number 32. In the problem number 32, figure shows two concentric coplanar loops of radius R and capital R current I pass through outer loop, the mutual inductance and R is less than capital R. Mutual inductance means flux in the secondary coil due to 1 and current in primary coil. One coil current pass karega, us current se develop hua magnetic field second mein flux ko change karega, then you will get the mutual inductance. So in this case you need two coils, primary and secondary. Current you will take primary coil and area you will take secondary coil. So if I go for the flux, we'll write B2, magnetic field in the secondary and A1. So first I will write the magnetic field B2 and you know mu naught I upon 2R. Magnetic field due to the capital R ring inside the small coplanar loop. So mu naught I 2R and I need area smaller one pi R square. So this is the value of flux, phi 1, 2, but I need mutual inductance. So first, I will use this relation. So M is equal to mu naught I pi R square upon 2 R divided by I current. So I, I will cancel out. So by this manner, you can find mu naught pi R square divided by 2 R. So option number 4 will be the right choice. So let's move on question number 33. In the question number 33, if instantaneous current in a circuit is given by 2 plus sin 100 T cos 100 T where T is in second A then RMS value of resultant current in the circuit is. So we can solve this question very quickly because I am looking to find IRMS value. So first, I am going to make a phasor diagram. Suppose, in this equation 2 is there, so I am going to take 2 in x-axis. Suppose, this is the phase, 100 T, because you can see 100 T and 100 T. Because the angle between or phase between sine and cos you know will be 90. So, if I make this one, so this line will represent the resultant and this will be cos 100t and this will be sin 100t. So resultant will be here because both are having same magnitude cos and sin. Yeah, you can see one is there, one is there. So angle between this 45 and 45. We can take this. So if I go for RMS value, we'll take 
टू स्क्वायर प्लस इसका लेते हैं दोनों में एंगल फोर्टी फाइव फोर्टी फाइव इट इज क्लियर वन फ्रॉम हियर एंड वन फ्रॉम हियर सो आई कैन राइट वन स्क्वायर वन स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाई टू सो दैट विल गिव यू रूट फाइव सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन कैलकुलेट द आर एम एस वैल्यू ऑफ रिजल्ट इन करेंट वेरी क्विकली बाई यूजिंग फेजर डायग्राम ओके सो माई ऑप्शन नंबर थर्ड विल बी द राइट चॉइस लेट्स मूव ऑन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फोर इन द क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फोर If 10% power of 220 watt bulb is converted to visible radiation, average intensity of visible radiation at a distance 7 from the bulb. So you can solve this question very quickly by using the formula power upon surface area 4 pi r square. So first I need the power. The value of power you can calculate by because question says 10% of 220 watt. So we'll write 10 upon 100 into 220 in place of power right and divide by 4 pi r r is 7 square so when i will calculate will get 1 upon 28 watt per meter square so this is how you can calculate very quickly my option number 1 will be the right choice let's move on question number 35 in the question number 35 A plane mirror is inclined to horizontal at 60 degree. A ray of light is incident on the mirror at an angle of incidence 30. Angle which the reflected ray makes with horizontal is. Okay, suppose this is my point A and this is point O. This is O dash. So angle of reflection according to law of reflection, this will be 30. And if I consider this is B and this is T, right? so angle of reflection will be 30 but as per the diagram angle o dash and op will be 90 angle o dash o and p will be 90 because o dash is representing normal right so angle o dash o b will be 30 hence i can say the angle b o p b o p will be 60 i am talking this right so this angle 60 is representing so you can say reflected rays parallel to the horizontal right so angle zero with the horizontal so this is true so i can say my option number third will be the right choice so let's move on question number 